William Brad Pitt, well known as Brad Pitt, is the eldest child of William Alvin Pitt and Jane Erta. Pitt has two younger siblings, Douglas and Julie, whom he spent his childhood with at their home in Springfield, Missouri. Pitt was born into a conservative American Christian home on December 18, 1963. He was a member of the golf, tennis and swimming teams in Kickapoo High School. He was so full of life that his participation in school debates and music didn't go unnoticed. Pete graduated and went on to attend the University of Missouri in 1982, where he studied journalism with his focus on advertising. But he couldn't complete his coursework just two weeks to his graduation. His dream was to feature in firms, but couldn't achieve it in Missouri. His determination propelled Pete to depart for Los Angeles, and there he worked at odd jobs while taking acting classes, as he was determined to chase his passion. It was not an easy start for Pete as he kept getting uncredited roles in films in 1987 and in the same year he got his debut in television in a two-episode role on Another World, an NBC soap. In November, he had a guest appearance on the sitcom Growing Pains by ABC. He would go on to be cast in several other films while his acting skills began to bring him recognition. At this time, he got into several relationships with most of his co-stars, which was much speculated in the media. He would not let this deter his dream of being a notable film actor. In 1991, his acting would attract a wider recognition when he played a supporting role, Thelma and Lois. The portrayal of his character is said to be the act that made him to be seen as a sex symbol. The next two films he would act in the same year did nothing to further his career as it garnered poor reviews from critics and box office. His career turning point came in 1992 as Pete took a role in the biographical film A River Runs Through It. His role as Paul McLean was described as a career-making performance by Jane Mock of People. Pete admitted that the role put him under pressure and considered it one of his weakest performances, yet it became the role that would get him the most attention. 1994 marked his extraordinary point of excellence in acting in his role as Louis de Pointe Dulac, a vampire in the horror film The Vampire Chronicles, an adaptation from Anne Rice's novels. He received his first Golden Globe Award nomination for Best Actor category in 1994 for his role in The Legends of the Fall. This solidified his reputation as a lead actor. This was not his only reason for his hyped reputation as at this same period, his relationship and engagement to Gwyneth Paltrow was much talked about. They dated from 1994 to 1997. The next year, Pete met Jennifer Arnestein and they wedded on July 29, 2000. Pete received an Emmy nomination for a guest appearance in the television series Friends, starring alongside his then-wife Jennifer Aniston in the eighth season. Pete and Aniston founded a film production company called The Plan B Entertainment in 2002, with Brad Gray, the CEO of Paramount Pictures. In 2004, their company produced its first film, Troy. Pete had a major role in the movie, starring as Achilles. Production for the movie was suspended for several weeks due to an injury he sustained during his Achilles tender on site. Pete spent six months in SWAT training for his role. Troy was a box office hit. In the same year, he reprised his role in Ocean's 12, which earned $362 million worldwide. From then onward, Pete got lead roles in blockbuster films such as Mr. and Mrs. Smith, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. His performance in the latter earned him several Best Actor nomination. In 2009, Pete acted in another box office hit film, The Inglorious Bastards, a Quentin Tarantino war film. Pete was widely praised for his role and was nominated as Best Male Performance in seven MTV Awards, eight Academy Awards nomination, and several orders that the film garnered. Again, he starred opposite Leonardo DiCaprio in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, another film by Tarantino. Pete saw this film earn him a BAFTA Award, Academy Awards, Saga Awards, Golden Globe Awards, and Critics' Choice Awards, all in the Best Supporting Actor category. Pete and Aniston separated in 2005, with Aniston filing for divorce. 
Their divorce was granted in the same year, but they remained friends in later years despite the media stating that his involvement with Jolie, whom he stirred with in Mr. and Mrs. Smith, was responsible for his divorce to Aniston. Pete denied allegation of infidelity, but in the same year, barely a month after Aniston filed for divorce, Pete and Jolie were seen at a beach together in Kenya with her son Maddox. In 2006, Jolie confirmed their relationship with a pregnancy announcement. They engaged in 2012, wedded in 2014 in a private ceremony in France, and in 2016, September 19, Jolie filed for divorce. She cited irreconcilable differences, though it was widely speculated in the media that Pete had laid hands on his elder son Maddox during a family trip. Their divorce could not bring a settlement as Jolie wanted sole custody of all six of their children. In 2019, April 12, Jolie and Pete were restored to single status. Pete made affordable housing in New Orleans in the aftermath of the destruction caused by Hurricane Katrina. To this, he founded the Make It Right Foundation in 2006 with housing professionals who financed the construction of 150 houses. In 2007, Pete and his ex-wife Jolie donated $1 million to the organizations that cared for those affected by the Darfur crisis. He supports the one campaign organization that sees into AIDS and poverty in developing countries. He founded Not On Our Watch with most of his Ocean's co-star including John Shadow, Damon and Cloney, an organization that prevents mass atrocities. He promotes the green housing concept which promotes the designing, building and operation of sustainable houses. He met with US President Barack Obama and Speaker Nancy Pelosi to promote this concept in 2009. He has a long-standing interest in architecture and took time from film to study designs aided by computer. He has earned a number 5, 10 and 20 on Forbes list as one of the 100 most powerful celebrities from 2006 to 2008, getting the same recognition on Time 100 Most Influential People in the World. In 2019, the media widely talked about his excitement at seeing Ernest and his ex-wife win an award, and their iconic hog behind stage made headlines with fans being divided in opinions of them getting back together and Aniston remembering she is too good for him. Pete is a respected public figure and is viewed as one of the most powerful people in American entertainment industry with great influence. He also holds the admiration as the most attractive man in the world. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll appreciate if you subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. We love you.